Alrighty, good afternoon. It is May 13th, Friday the 13th, and I'm set up in the hunt shack. My turkey tag is filled. All I all I have is a camera tonight. So the goal is um, two days ago I shot, or actually no, yesterday I shot my bird, and then this morning um, the other Tom that's been in here with him was still back in here, and did a lot of the same thing he did yesterday so uh, the hope is that he stays on that pattern so I'm gonna try to put him to sleep tonight we're gonna see if we can watch him go to the roost uh, I can't see too often much right here from where I'm at but I think it's enough to to where if he comes down through here I think we'll be able to see him and then uh, we'll be listening for him he usually gobbles at night too so I'll crow call here and uh, every once in a while and see if we can't get him to talk and See if we can't put him to roost so we can do the same exact thing that uh, I did yesterday morning, tomorrow morning, for Denise on her first day for a turkey season. So, that's the plan. I just crow called. Nothing gobbled. I look over it. Long beard right here in the field. Right. Um, it's May fourteenth. May 14th, it's the opening day of my spring turkey season. It's the most wonderful time of the year and we're gonna go kill a bird right behind our house. And Micah just killed one two days ago. Yeah, right, right. the morning of May 15th and I woke up late this morning and got out here a little bit later than I wanted to but I am sitting and we have about half an hour until shooting time um, on my walk out here I started hearing a couple cobbles so I was a little worried but I pushed through and I kept going and I'm out here now and I didn't spook anything out of the roost so that was a good sign so we're just going to sit tight and see what happens. I just turned off the camera and went to turn around and he just gobbled. He is on top of me at about, probably about 20 yards. I can see him right here in the roost. So, let's hope he flies the right way this morning. Hey guys, it's the evening of May 15th. I'm in the rhino blind again, the same spot I was this morning. Um, got probably close to an hour and a half of time to sit here, and this is going to be what it is for the rest of the season, I think. I'm going to have to sneak out after work and squeeze in an hour here and there where I can, and hopefully I can get it done. So um, this morning was very eventful. There was a tom roosted right above me. I thought it was about 20 yards, but it was about 30, 40 yards away. Um, so I'm hoping that tonight he makes his way back this direction and hopes to roost here again. And hopefully I can get him before shooting hours are up. Alright, so it's getting really close to shooting time. And <clears throat> it's getting really close to shooting time. Micah just crow called. And as he crow called, I don't know if it was already about to happen or if he caused it to happen, but a bird flew up into the roost from the south field. Um, I never saw the bird. I heard it as soon as the crow call went off and it just flew up and he's just... 
just right here. I'm gonna see if I can get video. I'm not even sure if it's a hen or if it's a tom or if it's a chick. I have no idea. I'm gonna see if I can check it out, get him a video or her. Um, let you guys peek at it. And I guess I'm sitting until dark because I'm not gonna get busted. So. Hey guys, it is the evening of the 18th and I didn't get to sit at all yesterday. We had sick kiddos at home. Um, so this is my first time out in three sets and it is coldish, chilly, and raining. Um, it's a little bit noisy out here in the woods and really dark. So I have less, no not less than, I have just over an hour of shooting time. And I'm thinking that since it's so dark, they might be coming in to roost early. And regardless, I'm sure they're going to be sneaking in here quieter than a mouse. And with the rain, um, I'm hoping I hear them at all and they don't just sneak right past me in this blind. So, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> well, guys, sucks to suck. I'm facing south and I've been watching the south field and I've been watching the west field and I'm sitting here thinking, man, I've got less than 15 minutes until legal shooting time's up and I'm not seeing anything thinking I'm going to get skunked again tonight. Well, and then I hear some flapping behind me. He just roosted. He's 15 yards out my blind. Big old long beard. Hey, it's Friday, May 20th, and the kiddos are with Mimi and Bapa, so I don't have to hunt by myself tonight. I got have, a cameraman. I've got a cameraman and an extra set of eyes, since apparently I never see turkeys come in until they're roosted on top of me. So hopefully between four eyes and someone else running the camera, it's not raining yet, but there's a good possibility that it could start storming while we're sitting. So we're going to be in the rhino blind again. But hopefully tonight we can get it done. Yeah. Let's do it. I have a good feeling. We're Let's gonna kill him. It. We're gonna kill him tonight. She's got good luck charm with her, so <laughs> more of the charm than the good, but hey, we'll take it.
Dusted him, baby. Dusted him. Go get him. Woo. Go get him. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm shaking. Well, I finally did it. After hunting by myself a couple times and either sitting underneath him when he was roosted first thing in the morning or him flying right up and roosting above my head. And I don't know what he was planning to do tonight, if he was coming in to roost above my head again or what. But Micah saw the hen come in, and then I saw him following shortly behind. And she's, our decoy here is sitting at about 30 yards, and I think I shot him around 37 yards. He started walking away, and 
I didn't want to let them get too far. All right, so I started a goofy little tradition uh, a couple years ago, and we used to always have just junk decoys, the little fold-up ones. Not that they're junk, but they're just, um, I never had great luck with them. I had a lot of birds turn around and leave once they saw them. And so we flipped over, switched over to a flex tone a couple years ago, and she has on her tail here, she has notches. So every bird that we've ever killed over top of this decoy, that this decoy was a like a major part in killing, she gets another, she gets another notch in her tail. So we'll, we'll notch her. It's number five. Number five. Number two was on top of her. Mountain. No, no, Mountain yep. Or... Number one was called in from like 400 yards across an open field. Number two was on top of her. That was the only two I remember. <laughs> number three was Jeremiah's Jake. Two days later, those were back to back to back hunts. Number four was the one I killed this year. And number five was this bird tonight. And it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Let's go get him cleaned up. <laughs> 